Raise your hand if you had the flu. <laughs> Hi, I've been gone for like a while. I don't even know how long, a couple weeks. <sighs> we had the pageant, um, me as in me and Laura, and that was so much fun. Um, it was a crazy weekend and I am, well, I was like extremely exhausted. And I'm pretty sure one of the little youngins gave me the flu. So I have had the flu and then I just found out over the weekend that I had strep on top of the flu. So I apologize for the lack of video for the past week and a half or so. Um, but today I'm really, really excited because I have some new products um, that I wanna do a review on and then first impression on. I don't even know where to start. Okay, um, first I'm gonna start with the um, Perfect Face brushes. I got all of these in the mail the other day from Danielle and I'm so excited. I've tried some of these out before, um, but I haven't tried all of them out and so I'm really excited and I have, I have lots of brushes. There's some brushes back there, brushes right here, and then brushes right here, and then there's literally three other for other things of brushes that I have just on my desk area. I love brushes and I mean, I might be someone that, I mean, I might have a problem, I don't know, but like I will always use more brushes, especially having my own kit versus just like my own personal makeup. So I'm really excited to kind of test these out for myself. Really excited. Um, I don't know why I said it like that. <laughs> um, also, I am super excited to try the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation from Maybelline. Um, I just kind of guesstimated my shade. Um, as soon as I left Walmart, I got to the car and I swatched it on my face and it looked fine. Um, so I'm really excited to kind of see how this like wears and I will be using the Perfect Face brushes. I'm probably going to use both of them just to kind of test them out because both of them are for different amounts of coverage. So um, I'm going to test this out today and then I, along with the foundation, I went out to my car and I put this on just because I wanted to see what it looked like because this is the new Maybelline, I don't know where the name is at, Superstay Matte Ink and it's a liquid lipstick and my mom got some like a few weeks ago and I was like, eh, I don't need them, I have so many lips. Like all that's lip products and that doesn't even like put a dent in my lip products. Like I have so much, again, I probably have a problem, but I was like, no, I don't need it. No, I don't need it. And then today there was one shade that I kind of wanted to try that I have like 50 shades or just types of lipstick, like different finishes, different brands that all are all this color. And so I put it on this morning when I left Walmart, gosh, around 10.30. And I went ran and smoked more errands. I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling, but there is going to be like an end to all this. Um, I went and ran more errands. I came home and ate. Um, I showered, brushed my teeth again, and then... It just started to like kind of fizzle off but like I did all of that and it's like still on my lips and so I actually took some Jehovah Jehovah oil earlier to try to get some of it off and I just don't want to come off so I was like you know it's fine I'll just have a little color to my lips so let's get started okay so wait I am gonna ramble a little bit more um, I decided since Valentine's Day is like right around the corner I am going to do like a two different versions of like a Valentine's Day look. So one version I'm probably gonna do, which I'll do today, um, is like a really sweet, like romantic kind of look. And then the other one is gonna be like really sultry and like a lot more deeper colors and um, a little bit more dramatic. So we're gonna do the sweet one today cause it's Wednesday and I don't need to have smoky eyes. So um, I'm gonna start off with, I'm gonna try to use all of the brushes. So I want to give all of them a shot and use them all today. So I'm going to go into my Viseart palette. Um, the shade broke. This was my shade. And now I have to mix all of them together to like make my eyebrow shade. So I'm going to go in with this uh, eyeshadow brush. Or uh, what's it called? Eyebrow brush. <sighs> Help me. So 
Um, I'm going to go in and mix my shade. Okay, so this um, brow pencil or brow um, brush has been good so far. There's parts of my brows that are just really stubborn, and so I always like to go in and kind of do a little bit of extra work with a pencil just to kind of fill in certain parts that the shadow or like the brow powder doesn't really have anything to stick to. So I'm just going to go in and fill that in with a pencil. Okay, so I'm finished up with my brows. One thing that I will say, I actually really like this um, brush, but I think it works better if you like stamp your product in and then kind of like fluff it out. Um, I think I was just trying to rush it and it works better if you like take a slower approach. Um, also, you can use this for your eyeliner too. There's two different eyeliner brushes, so it just kind of depends which one you like better. Um, this one's really nice because it's angled, but this one you might be able to get a crisper line, especially if you want a new wing. I don't know, I'm gonna play around with both. But now my brows are done and I'm gonna go in with the P2 concealer and shape out my brows. And this is actually a lip brush, but because it's so tiny, I think it would work really well to go in and shape out my brows. So I'm gonna do that. And I kind of just went in with that extra concealer that I had on this brush and just kind of like went over my red spots. I am breaking out a little bit. Surprise, surprise. Okay, and now I'm going to take the concealer brush and smooth out these lines a little bit. Okay, since the P2 concealer is like so heavy duty and a little bit goes a long way, I didn't even put any um, RCMA or MAC Paint Pot or anything like that um, as a base for my eyelids or my eyeshadow my eyelids. So I'm just going to go right into an eye palette. This is one that I honestly haven't used in probably almost a year. It's been a really long time. Um, so it's the Urban Decay... Gwen Stefani palette and there's just some really pretty colors in here. Please ignore this one. It broke um, But I'm just gonna go in with a really like basic cream With a hint of shimmer maybe a, a nice satin shade. So I'm gonna put that all over my lid I'm gonna go in with this crease brush and I'm just gonna go into like a light cool tone brown shade And with this brush, I really like to like place it there and then blend it out a little bit. And then I'm actually going to go in a little bit with the, the fluff brush and dip a little bit more into that. Just really fluff it out. There's not really like another warm shade in that palette that I want to use, so I'm going to even out the eyes a little bit. And go into, I have this huge palette from something glow, Gimme Glow, and I have all of these random shadows in here. I'm obsessed with it. I want to go into MAC Saddle, and just warm this up a little bit. Kind of fluff that all over. And a windshield wiper motion. Now I'm actually going to go into this color that I've really been liking a lot. It's a foiled shadow from, it's a crushed foil metallic eyeshadow from L'Oreal. And you can't even see it in here, but it's called Diamond Dust. And it's just like pure glitter. It's so pretty. But it's not glittery, like, it doesn't feel glittery and chunky. It's just so pretty. 
God, this doesn't even do it justice. I'll do a close up at the end of the video and it's just so pretty. I would recommend doing your face first because it does kind of go everywhere once you put it on your eye. So you do have to go in and clean it up. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the crease brush and dip into stone. The Urban Decay shadow that I was trying to use for my crease just isn't really giving enough. Like I still want this to be really sweet looking look look and look but I do want to have some depth in there so I'm gonna go back in with my crease brush and just lightly yeah lightly build in stone I just feel like stone is the perfect like cool tone brown that isn't like completely cool tone like it doesn't make me look ashy it still has enough warmth and in it for its undertones that it's still just like really pretty i just can't do cool tones i don't know why i just don't think that they look best on my skin and i'm gonna go in i'm gonna try this one first and then if this isn't like thin enough then i'll go in with the other one um this is the eyeliner brush and i'm just gonna go in and lightly line my eyes And then now that I've lined this eye, I'm gonna go in and tight line my waterline. Okay, now that my eyes are, are lined, I'm gonna go in with the foundation, which I'm really excited to try. Um, also, I didn't go in with the, this like angled brush. I did all of my liner with this brush and I really liked it. I struggle getting a really thin line, but I'm gonna put on lashes anyway, so I will. So I'm just gonna pump some out, and we're gonna go with one pump just to see what it looks like, and then we can always add more. So I'm gonna go in with this sheer foundation brush, and then we'll see what we need. Wow, that's a lot of coverage. I am in natural beige. I actually really love how this brush applied this foundation. The only part that I am struggling with is getting around my brows, so I'll probably go into um, this brush and just and I'm literally probably going to use a little more than a pump because one pump did most of my face. Okay, so I really like this foundation. Um, it does oxidize a tad bit. You can see where um, it dried on my hand and got a little darker. Um, it dries fast, so I would definitely like get to blending. I would not wait on that. Um, I'm gonna see how everything kind of layers on top of it. I mean, my skin looks, it's like matte, but it's still really natural looking, so that's nice. Um, I'm gonna see how my layers of makeup just look on top. I'm going in with the Catrice liquid camo like I have been. And then I'm going in with Maybelline Fit Me in Cafe for contour. And then I'm gonna go in with this brush and see how it blends everything out. Okay, now that all that is on, I will say that my face already feels like it has powder on it. 
it has dried down to where it feels like okay like you're dry like you have powder like I don't feel sticky I don't feel like my skin feels like I have powder on it but I'm still gonna put powder on it because that's what I would always do so I'm gonna go in with my Dermablend. Earlier I was like, oh, you know, I haven't used my Ben Nye in a while. I'll like mix it up. But honestly, because my skin already feels really dry, I don't wanna put anything too heavy on it. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna have to experiment a little bit, but I'm gonna go in with, um, honestly, I think I might go in with my smudge brush to do underneath my eyes really quick. And then um, I'll use my powder brush for the rest of my face. So I'm just gonna make sure there's no creases. Go right underneath. And then I'm gonna go in with my powder brush. I have used these brushes. Um, I used them um, yesterday morning while I was getting ready. So, sorry if some of them do look dirty. I used them already just cause I couldn't wait. But, um, I like this a lot. I needed a new powder brush. This is my old one from Morphe. It worked fine, but it's like a lot more stiff. And some of my clients this past weekend was like, that brush is itchy. <laughs> and I'm like, really? I don't know, it doesn't feel like that. And they're like, it's itchy. I'm like, okay, well, we got a new powder brush, everybody, don't you worry. It's a lot softer. So I just set my face really lightly because I didn't want to put too much, but I definitely wanted to powder my face because we can't just not set the face, but okay. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the Hula bronzer and we're going to go in with a blush brush. Okay, so that's just like a really nice, simple, easy layer of um, contour. And then I'm actually gonna go with the Maybelline Baked Bronzer in Le Soleil. And I'm gonna do it with my big powder brush and just kind of warm me up a little bit more because it's Valentine's Day and you wanna put on self tanner. At least I am, because I am pale right now. So just a little bit toward the skin. When I first saw this, I saw that there was like, everybody was raving about this on YouTube and I was like, it has shimmer in it. Like it literally has glitter, but that's kind of just like a top coat. Once you dig in, there is some sections where there's a little bit more glitter than others, but um, it looks really pretty on the skin. It doesn't make you look glittery at all. And that's what I was afraid of. So I feel like this would just be like a really nice, easy Valentine's Day look for those girls that want to look nice and want to have makeup on for Valentine's Day, but they don't want to do too much. I know Valentine's Day is like on a Wednesday this year, kind of random, but um, I feel like you could wear this to work and then go out to dinner right after. Um, it's also for those girls that their boyfriends don't really like them to wear makeup, but you still have a full face of makeup on, but you still look very natural. Um, so now I'm going to go in with a blush brush and a uh, surprise party from the perfect face I haven't used this blush in a while and I forgot that I loved it it's just kind of one of those that hit away and I was like oh wait I love you and a little bit goes a long way and then I'm gonna blend that out with my powder brush if you ever feel like you're looking a little harsh I'm gonna go in with a tad bit of this powder from Ben Nye and I'm gonna go in with my powder brush and just soften me up. And I'm gonna spray my skin with a little bit. I'm gonna do the Clinique Moisture Surge today because um, I have the Scandinavia, but that's for oil control and I feel like my skin is not gonna be breaking out crazy oily today. So I'm gonna go in with this. Yay. So I'm gonna let that dry for a second and then I'm gonna go into highlighter and finish my under eyes. 
And for highlighter today, I'm going to go in with um, my, since I have two fluff, fluff brushes, this works out. Um, I'm going to go in with the flush, fluff brush and then Moon Gold. And then the Moon Gold is the shimmer pigment from the Perfect Face. And then I'm just going to go in right here. And if you feel like you need to settle it down, just go right over your powder brush. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And I'm going to go in with this little tiny detailer brush and go into Moon Gold. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into the smudge brush, make sure it's clean, and then I'm gonna go into stone and go right underneath my eyes. If you want, you can take that crease brush and just go right underneath and blend that out. And then I'm gonna, for the last step, I'm gonna take this detailer brush, mini shadow brush, and then I'm gonna go into this like chocolatey brown color from that uh, Urban Decay palette and then just lightly, like, lightly press it in. Okay guys, so the final step, let me, oh. I work so much better just sitting on one leg. Um, the final step is the lipstick. I put on some lashes, the same lashes I literally use in every single video, and some mascara. And so now I'm gonna go in. This is seven or no, 65 Seductress. First off, I love this color. It's long lasting, like I said at the beginning of the video, and I mean, do I need more blush on this side? You know, now I just started something. Oh, this color's just so pretty, and I love this applicator. I feel like it's perfect for like actually lining your lips too. Okay. Let's review. Um, I love all the brushes. They're awesome. Um, if you are in need of like revamping your brush kit, um, these are really just quality. Can we just talk about, first off, they have rhinestones on them. Secondly, they have a little, you can, they, you, I really do like all of these brushes. They're awesome. You can buy them separately or as a kit. Um, if you buy them as a kit, they do come with like a brush case. Um, I will personally use that like traveling, but while I'm like in my home doing makeup, I'll just keep them in a glass jar like that. Um, I just like to have everything like out so I can see what I'm working with. Love this, obsessed with this. Um, we're gonna keep you updated on this. Um, I really like it, I love the finish. Um, if you have dry, sh dry skin, I don't know if this would like be for you. Um, I did have a dry patch up here because I had a little acne and then it started like peeling off. Um, the skin did and I mean it covered it well. It's not like weird looking. But because it does make my skin feel so dry, I don't know if it would be good for those with super dry skin. Um, I have combination leaning more on the oily side. I have like dry patches, but not dry all over. But anyway, I'll keep you updated on this. I'll talk about it a little bit in the description box, what I think. Um, it's only been on for probably like 30 minutes now, but I'm going to wear it throughout the rest of the night. I am going to go see Jared for the first time in like week and a half. So um, I probably won't wash my face until later on tonight. So let's see how it holds up. But this is the end. Oh, let me, you know what? I like just filmed my whole outro without actually filming it. Um, 
hi welcome to natural light i brought you over to the window that's my setup back there um yeah i literally just said so much i'm trying to think of where to even start this is the final look on the foundation the whole makeup look this is definitely the more sweet simple like girly look of the two that i'm going to be doing i'm going to film the other one on Friday, This today's Wednesday, so hopefully I'll either get this video up tonight or tomorrow, um, just kind of depending, but I'll kind of keep you guys updated on how my foundation wears. Right now, I'm loving it, so um, it feels dry, but not too drying, and it looks really natural. Um, it doesn't look like I'm, I don't know like a cake face, you know, everything layered really well. So I'm going to stop rambling and I will keep you guys updated. Stay tuned for the video on Friday and I will leave everything in the box below. Yeah. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this. If you like videos like this, I don't know, give me ideas, guys. I feel like there's only so many looks and so many videos that I can do. So I want to try to get creative. Um, yeah. So help me out, please. Um, also, I was gonna say something. Oh, duh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Please, 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 I would appreciate it so much. I'm trying to build this channel more so this year um, than I did last year. Last year was my first year on YouTube and I think it went pretty well, but I'm hoping to grow this channel more throughout the year. So here's to 2018, woohoo, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Okay, I'm sorry, I have one more thing to add. Um, can you guys see? I, don't, I hate like, I hate doing this, but look at my eyes. Like, isn't that pretty? Like, that's just, oh my gosh. It comes in three different colors. Okay, I'm sorry, we're gonna make this longer, it's fine. Um, so again, it's the Crushed Metals, and I'm gonna go over where the light's good. And um, this one is in Diamond Dust. I think diamond dust and the other two is like a gold and the other one is one's a gold and one is like an olive green I really do like the other colors I just feel like this is like more wearable for every day and it's literally I mean a couple shades or a couple colors in the crease and then pop this on the lid it's so pretty I just feel like it really brightens your eyes too so anyway okay I'm done bye <laughs>